hi guys and you too ladies it is a beautiful day here in paradise in south austin texas on this gorgeous sunday afternoon january 28th 2018 so the little dog and i are hanging out on sunday afternoon thinking about what to talk about today and uh once again i can thank my my evil sister channel those all doom and gloomers over there at humpty dumpty tribe where in a video which i also posted here on vimeo about my uh, recent vacation to florida what i did or in this case did not do uh, on my vacation in florida uh, i brought up the subject of pussy uh, specifically some terms my pussy good pussy and the one that caused the most consternation among among my viewers used up old pussy and for whatever reason whenever you talk about pussy it's just amazing the number of comments uh, 73 comments on the YouTube version of the story not all of them about pussy but most of them and so uh, I thought that uh, since pussy isn't necessarily a subject of doom and gloom or well it usually is in my life but it doesn't have to be a subject of doom and gloom I thought it was more appropriate just to put my thoughts and just <coughs> lay out uh, Hamla Little Tail's thoughts on pussy, uh, since it seems to be uh, such an interesting topic for everyone to uh, talk about Hambone Little Tail's opinion of pussy and uh, a, a, a few amplifications and clarifications. Uh, before I start here, is, is is first these people calling me a misogynist because I talking about pussy I don't get it a misogynist why would a misogynist be talking about pussy pussy I'm anything but a misogynist I love pussy it isn't that the definition of an anti misogynist so maybe I misunderstand what misogynist means anyway i love pussy and so so I, I i don't understand why why i'm being labeled a misogynist by these clueless morons over there uh and, uh, and the other thing i want to say is it, you know a misogynist usually implies a, a man I, I i mean i'm assuming lesbians share my affection for pussy so if a lesbian says she likes pussy and and talks about pussy it, it can a lesbian be a misogynist and then the same thing is, is one of the is, is one of the commenters Teresa uh, commented over there on my on my evil sister channel that you know she said she didn't understand that men had a rating system for pussy that's not a, that's a little bit uh, not 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 exactly but I guess I can see what she means and so she's thinking you know talking about women rating cocks and, and fine uh, I, I am quite sure that uh, that women think about rating cocks all the time and they probably do when they're talking uh, among themselves so if, if Teresa or any other woman wants to sit out here and, and do a, a video about rating cocks uh, then what is the is there a term what what is the what is the male term for misogyny? Are you following me? If if a woman makes a video talking about that she enjoys cock, does that make her anti-man? I don't think so. 
I, I would never accuse a, 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 a woman saying that she appreciates a good stiff cock as being anti-man any more than, uh, than a man talking about pussy. So, I don't get it, but I encourage women uh, to have this rant and to get out there and rate cocks. I got no problem with it. So, with those amplifications and disclaimers, where to start uh, this? I, I want to talk about, I guess I need to, if you haven't heard the original rant, you need to go listen to what I did on my vacation in Florida. I don't even bring up the term pussy until like minute 19 so you can just fast forward the first 18 minutes of the video and what I was talking about is uh, about my girlfriend uh, who lives in my pseudo girlfriend we were we were kind of the, to coin a phrase feeling each other out whether we wanted to become boyfriend and girlfriend but we were kind of moving in that direction but anyway she lives in Nevada I was in Florida so she dumped me she dumped me, uh, and so I was talking about that, and what, and the term that I used was that I lost my pussy when she, the owner of the pussy, dumped me. I lost my pussy, and obviously guys it wasn't my pussy it was it was her pussy that I lost no, no shit Sherlock y y you know this is just this ridiculous little argument in semantics yes I know whose fucking pussy it is it's her pussy it's not my pussy but uh, what I was saying is to the degree that she was making her pussy available to me to that degree it was my pussy and and further more is she was the only woman on the planet making her pussy available to me and then she withdrew the availability of her pussy okay and by doing so I lost my pussy because it was all my pussy it was the only pussy that I had so I have no pussy anymore my pussy is gone now see this wouldn't be true if I were a younger man or for Donald Trump or if you've heard of this guy over there in uh, the Doomosphere uh, this dude Guy McPherson uh, if, if one woman withdraws her pussy from a man who has more than one pussy available to him as I did for most of my life if you lose one pussy you haven't lost your pussy you lost you lost that pussy but as but as long as one woman on the planet out, out of out of half the population of the fucking planet if one woman is offering you her pussy and you lose that pussy you have lost your pussy that's all i was saying it, it was it, it was it was not mentioned it was not intended as as an insult uh, to to that particular, I was just stating a fact. Are are are, are you following me? That it is as long as long as you have. Uh, and and it, this is true for lesbians too. It, it, as long as you have at least one woman on the planet uh, offering you the services of their pussy, you have pussy. But 
if you're in the desperate lonely situation that I am and only one woman out of a population of, of close to four billion women only one of those four billion women are offering you the services anyway do you get it what I meant by my pussy it's kind of like you know these people over here in the doom and gloomers whenever I talk about saving the planet you know you know goddamn well what I'm talking about uh, I'm not talking about saving the the the, uh, the ball of rock. It's talking about saving the biosphere of the planet. It's just a lot of words, so it's easier to say, "I lost my pussy," than 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 obviously what I mean. Anyway, all, all of these little semantic arguments. So I want to get that out of the way, and so we're going to move down. And I think the second term that I used was good pussy. Good pussy. I want to talk about the uh, the terms good good pussy. To say good, you know, things are always relative to something else. So good pussy is relative to bad pussy. And I don't know about you, dude, some pussy is better than other pussy, but I don't know if I've ever had like really bad pussy uh, in my entire life. I mean, can I ever think of a situation where, you know, I got some pussy and I finished the experience and said, God damn, that was some bad pussy. I don't think I've ever said that. So, you know, women already have an advantage. It's, it's easier, I think, it's easier to have a bad cock than a bad pussy, but I'm not gay, so I don't know. You women would probably, might argue with me. Uh, so I'm asking you girls, is there bad cock? I guess a cock that doesn't get hard. Is that bad cock? Uh, I mean, little cocks, big cocks, so uh, whatever. I, I, I mean... I know there's different kinds of cocks, but is there any bad cock for a woman who wants the cock? Now, obviously, if you're if the cock isn't invited, that might be bad cock. But I'm not here to talk about cock. I'm here to talk about pussy. And so, pretty much, I would say minimally, minimally, 99% of the pussy on planet Earth is good pussy and so I probably you know when I mentioned uh, when I, I think I said and it wasn't I, I think I used the word particularly good pussy or it wasn't even that good a pussy uh, there, there's there's different variations of good there's good better best I think I might have used the word top shelf pussy there, there obviously some pussy is, is 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 higher grade than other pussy. This is and and uh, this is somewhat a a subjective opinion that one man's opinion of of high grade or top shelf pussy might be different than than another man's. It's, it's kind of like, who is that Supreme Court Justice when he was talking about, during the obscenity trials, when they were trying to figure out when they actually thought they were going to regulate pussy, regulate pornography back there in the 70s, and whichever the Supreme Court ju Justice was, is I don't know how to define it. I just know it when I see it. You know, talking about pornography. So I don't really know how to define top shelf pussy but for the few times in my life I have really I have really landed in some top shelf pussy I knew I knew that I had just gotten into some top shelf pussy it's just I don't know how to define top shelf pussy I just know it when I get it and I know I haven't, when was the last time I really got top shelf pussy? I think was on a nude beach in Zipolite 
Mexico in 1992. Uh, Anna Talafario, if you're still listening, if you're out there listening, uh, Anna Talafario from Los Gatos, California, you were some high-grade top-shelf pussy, darling. Uh, I only enjoyed it once, but God damn it, girl. Uh, that was that was 1992, and I still remember it like it was last night. So, when you get top shelf pussy, it does stay with you for a lifetime. Uh, but like anything else in the world, uh, not all pussy can be top shelf pussy. It's just that simple. And, and, and I, you know, but it's, there's what Terrence McKenna would talk about, like when you're, when you're eating mushrooms or doing DMT, there's, I can't really get into this, there's the set and setting that you gotta, the set and setting uh, really can uh, affect the quality of the pussy. It's, there's the pussy itself and there's the set and the setting of the pussy, which all, and, and by the way, and, and, and I, I guess I should have started this whole thing about this very term pussy. I'm, I'm not just talking about a woman's vulva, okay? I, I, I think, I, I think sometimes women uh, misconstrue the general term pussy as that they think men are actually talking about, you know, their little their little honey pot, uh, your your labia. Uh, now, of course, and I and I'm not gonna again. I'm not gonna get off on on this red herring. Uh, the the actual pussy is an element of the larger term pussy, but pussy, when, when, at least when I'm talking about pussy and uh, good pussy versus better pussy versus high grade pussy versus top shelf pussy, it's the entire gestalt of pussy that I'm talking about. It's the whole thing. It's the, it's, it's the pussy itself is actually See, probably with cocks, I'm just guessing that the actual cock, the, the actual sex organ, is probably more important to a woman when talking about cock than the actual genitalia itself. Uh, when, uh, when you're, you're, talking about when a man's talking about pussy. Now obviously if a pussy uh, has ground glass up inside it, you know what I'm saying, as, as long as it doesn't have teeth. Uh, so again ladies, I think you're, you're misunderstanding us. It's the whole gestalt. It's the, it's the sex organ itself. It, it has a hell of a lot to do with who the the actual what, pudenda is that the word pudenda or vulva is attached to. Uh, that is a major portion of the pussy. Is the full uh, you, you know the full. Uh, what, what's the word? The full corpus, I guess I'm talking about here. And then uh, you have, so you got the, 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 the rest of the woman, uh, and then the, you got the set and the setting. Uh, you, you know, so I, I, I could spend entire books have been written on this subject for, for thousands of years. I mean, this could go on forever, so I can't get too deep into into pussy as much as as much as I would like to get deep into the pussy uh, I don't have time I'm just trying to give you a a general framework 
of, of the way I understand pussy. And this is just Hambone Little Tales. I, I've been uh, enjoying pussy. I'm 58 years old. So I enjoyed a lot of pussy from age 15 to 50. So I have 35 years of pretty good experience enjoying pussy. Now I haven't enjoyed in the since I turned 50 in the last eight years, I have enjoyed a total of two pussies in eight years. And one of those pussies uh, was from an old girlfriend uh, from way back. So that hardly counts. Uh, so this newest uh, woman in my life, she was really, for all intents and purposes, the first pussy that I'd had in, uh, in eight years. And so I'm, I'm not, you know, things are different when you hit 58 and, and, I've, and, and I've just got to get used to this. And so this is where I have to talk about this term, which I think might have, uh, might have upset something. It was actually a, a man who seemed most upset about this because a, a female reader, she particularly noted this term. It was my term, old used up pussy. Old used up pussy. Now, again, uh, I know that sounded like an, an, an insult uh, to describe pussy as, as old and used up. Uh, but it really wasn't. It's just, uh, it, it was, it was just a, just a descriptive term, kind of like Sancho Panza uh, has blonde hair. Uh, you, you know, I was just stating the fact that, and, and, and obviously I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get more used to this if, if I want to ever have uh, enjoy pussy again as long as I live, I, I'm gonna have to accept the fact, which of course men such as Donald Trump will, and uh, the aforementioned Guy McPherson will never accept this fact, uh, that we're gonna have to start facing the, the prospect of old used up pussy. Uh, and, and, and ladies, I'm sorry, but facts are facts, and old used up pussy can still be pretty good pussy. It, 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 it mainly depends on whether the man, it, this is kind of the point I was trying to make, but apparently, apparently, if I was misconstrued as being misogynist by saying that it wasn't even you know, I was whining about losing my pussy, meaning the only pussy uh, that I had available, so I did lose my pussy. Then I said it wasn't even that good a pussy. It was old, used up pussy. And ladies, I'm sorry, you can say the same thing uh, about my dick compared to my dick when it was 22 years old. I assure you, uh, it's not the same dick. Uh, as it was when I was 22. It, it's just, it just comes, excuse me, comes with the territory of aging. Uh, you can have your own rant uh, about old used up cocks. And it is what it is. Uh, and we just, you know, and, and us aging baby boomers just need to accept this. I understand that uh, that this is a hard pill to swallow, it really is. But uh, but I'm but I'm working on it, and I understand that from here on out, most of the pussy that my old used up cock is going to be finding is old used up pussy, and and this is as it should be. It's just a statement of fact that it, now if you get you know the real young pussy i mean when uh, and, and i'm not getting into child pornography and all that stuff don't 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 i'm not 
fill in the blank here. I'm just saying, you know, when uh, when when women are 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 just starting out, I've uh, I've never really understood the big thrill of deflowering a virgin. I've only, as far as I know, I've only deflowered one virgin. My God, I worked like two years on uh, getting this pussy, uh, which, judging by the actual pussy, the actual little pudenda was some damn fine top shelf pussy. But as hard as I worked for it, when I finally got it, it wasn't, it, 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 it wasn't that good a pussy. I had to develop that pussy for a couple of years before she dumped me. And but fortunately, when I lost that, it wasn't that wasn't it wasn't quite top shelf pussy. I think if I had had a couple of more years to work with her, it's kind of like breaking in a horse. If I had had a couple of more years uh, in the saddle with this girl, I think I actually could have taken that pussy to top shelf, but she made the horrible decision to, uh, to take her pussy elsewhere, but fortunately, uh, I, this damn chair is just determined it's going to go over backwards. Uh, fortunately, when I lost that pussy back when I was uh, 21 years old, I had two other pussies. So I didn't lose my pussy. I still had pussy. I, I, you know, I always like to keep. Uh, I actually, if you heard the very first story I put in here, was I think for when I was 21. All my 21st birthday, I actually got pussy from three different women. Well, actually, I got blowjobs from three different women on my birthday. So if I lost one, and and even blowjobs is is kind of in the in the gestalt of pussy. I when when guys are talking about getting pussy, it's just kind of blowjobs are implied. So you can sort of say it's kind of like Bill Clinton would probably argue this. It's kind of like it depends on what the definition of is is. I would actually that that it's possible. And there's probably some men who would disagree with me on this. I could almost say you can get pussy without the actual, and, and the woman could have her pants on. You see what I'm saying? It, it's a it, it's a broad it's it's an elastic term, uh, and, and it's just lumped into this general word pussy. Uh, but we, we've got to face it. Women have to face it, and men have to face it. As we grow old, uh, our whatever we have is just going to grow old and used up. But as I was trying to explain in this rant, if the only pussy you have in your life is one old, used up, not that good pussy, it's still compared to no pussy at all, it's damn good pussy. And, and it hurts like hell uh, to lose that pussy because you have no idea where, you, where your next pussy's coming from. I have no fucking clue where my next pussy's coming from. Although I will say, and she's probably listening to this, is that, uh, that I have had an offer. Uh, to cross the pink line with another alert tribe member, but that's over here on my sister, on my sister. Anyway, I won't get into my my personal business here. So it still hurts like like hell. It's it, this is why I was I was comparing I was comparing uh, in the in that video. If you go listen to this Florida video, as I say, started about minute eighteen. I, I was comparing pussy to marijuana that, uh, y y you know, obviously, uh, if, you, if you're looking to get high, y you want 
the, the top grade. You, you want the, the, the high grade top shelf weed. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, that's what you're looking for. You want some of this medical grade, I don't know, Blue Dream, Sour Diesel, Purple Kush, uh, whatever. You're looking for that, and, and I hope to hell that you can find it. But if you don't have it, and all you have is, you know, that you, you got some uh, old bag of swag that you stuck in a baggie and, and pushed to the back of your kitchen drawer uh, a year ago and kind of forgot all about, but then you find yourself that, that you've lost, that you're out of weed and suddenly you remember and, and, you, and you think you have no weed at all when you discover this dried up powdery ass, might got a little bit of mold in it, might have, you know, some a couple of dead cockroaches you have to pull out of your stash, whatever. It's, it, it's old, used up weed. It's not that good a weed, but compared to no weed at all, it's damn good. That any weed compared to no weed at all is, is a bigger, is, is a bigger step forward in your life than bad weed compared to, to, to good weed. Are you following me? And it's the same thing with pussy. That clearly, uh, you know, no shit, Sherlock. You're, you're going to want the, 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 the high-grade top-shelf pussy. But the, the difference between not-so-good old used-up pussy Okay, you take that as your baseline. It is closer, old, used up, not so good pussy is a hell of a lot closer in quality to the high grade pussy than it is to no pussy at all. And there, there's probably a few men out there who would disagree with me on this. And if any of you men disagree with that statement, do and all I can say is if you disagree with me on that statement obviously you have never been celibate for eight years because if you haven't had pussy in eight years and I don't care you know who the hell the pussy's coming from it's damn good pussy and so even though when I lost my pussy it it wasn't that good a pussy, and it was old used up pussy, compared to the no pussy at all that I'm left with, it was damn good pussy. And uh, I'm sorry as hell to lose it, because now I've got no pussy. And, and, and I've got no weed. I've got no weed and no pussy. Jesus fucking Christ. It's a tough day here on this beautiful day, but at least I can, uh, I think I can walk down the street. I can almost see the roof from here. At least I can, I can satisfy the weed quotient. Uh, and I guess it's up to any of you ladies listening to this. Uh, I assure you uh, that I am not a misogynist and I, uh, I love pussy, and by extension, clearly, I love women, and if any woman listening to this has a pussy, and I don't even care, you know, at this point, darling, if it's not that good and if it's a little bit old and used up, I don't have any pussy right now, and I would sure appreciate some. So anyway... I guess I'm just going to leave it there, and uh, I'm going to wrap up this rant and take my old, used-up, not-so-good cock uh, back in the house, and it's time to give the little dog a bath. Now, all this talk about pussy. Now, Sancho Panza has never had pussy. Never had any. As far as I know, well, I got him from the pound. I don't know. Maybe you're a... Uh, 
you were a, uh, I mean, look at this. He is clearly a babe magnet. You would think with this babe magnet of mine, Sancho Panza, I should be getting, I, I, I should have pussy coming out of my ears because of this little dog. So we're going to go put you to work. We're going to go give you a bath, cut all these mats out of your ears, get you all fluffed up, and you're going to help me go find some new pussy. I hope that explained a few things, so uh, let me know in your comments. Bye, guys. And uh, more importantly, bye, ladies. Whoa! Look out, my little babe magnet. You gotta go find me some babes.